video tutorial we will look up on the concept of writing into a file the previous video was showing you how you can read from a file and now we will show you how can you write into a text file often it is required that you know when you save a program or when you execute a program you need to save the output to a file so that you can read it later or you can submit it as the final answer sheet of your program okay so again we will begin with the very basic concepts that we saw in the reading ones right i this tutorial is requires that you go through the reading tutorial once and then follow this so that i need not explain the file pointers and all but we will just see once again right so file pointer is a special type of pointer that relates to a pointer that is capable of handling file informations okay so here we are inputting the input dot text right so f open indicates that we are opening a file the name of the file is input dot text and we are opening this in the write mode remember the last tutorial was to open the file into read mode so r for read hence the mode was r now we are opening in the write mode and hence it is w always remember whenever you open a file into write mode at this particular moment right whatever will be the contents of the file it will be erased right here there are two cases assume that the file input.txt does not exist right so whenever you open the file in the right mode it will be created by the program if it does not exist it will be created by the pro program and it will be a blank file second case if the file already exists and let's say it has some contents let's say 25 lines of text everything will be erased and blanked okay so if the file does not exist it will be created fresh a blank file if the file exists whatever will be the contents of the file everything will be erased and the file is blanked okay so assume like for this example i have my input file where i am writing india is my country okay so the moment this line is executed line number 9 is executed this file would be rendered blank like this this file will be blank right so as of now i am not executing the code now again as i said you in the last tutorial this line will always be there so when you are opening a file you will get a file descriptor technical term so just say it's like a pointer to the file input.txt so if the file is not able to if for example due to some reason the program is not able to open the file into write mode fp will store null right on storing null we just say error opening file and we just unconditionally exit the program right and finally it's always a good practice to close the file now you may ask why do we require to close a file so any time you must have observed when working on windows let's say you are playing a movie or you are playing a song in the mp3 player right while the song is being played if you try to delete that file you see the system will give you an error that the file is in use at times you must have observed that while doing copy paste operation it must be saying at least a cut paste operation it must be saying that the file you are trying to move is already in use okay so whenever you do a f open it will put a lock on the file because since it's a write mode it requires an exclusive access to the file so if you don't if you don't close the file there will be two things first the content that is being returned to the file would not be retained and the file would be practically unusable for other third party programs because it is still locked by the compiler okay so let's not go into that so as of now you just see i have the file input dot text okay so let me just do one thing i open the file else let us just write a simple print statement print f open we'll see successful okay and then finally i close the file if you see i am not writing anything into the file but still this file would be blank 
right India is my country now let me just execute the file open successful finally I'm closing the file so now if you see this file is blanked because irrespective of the number of lines of contents like for example I can just paste this text in number of times okay. so this is 270 lines of codes I am just writing some gibberish text pasting all again and again and I am just executing this code right open successful and now just see the file is blank always remember whenever you open a file in the right mode whether it is w or like we had a read plus mode we also have a write plus mode that we will see in the next tutorial it will always be blanked right i have written a comment also original file gets erased i i should write original file and it's get erased right we had india is my country let's keep that line and this is how the program executes. Now let us try to do something by writing something into the file. So I have the code ready for it. Again, same file pointer. I'm dealing with characters. You can also write integers to the file. Then I'm opening the file input.txt again in the right mode. So the moment it is open, this text will be blanked and everything will be erased. Again, we just check whether FP is null or not. If null, that means I am not able to open the file. And now again, as I said, see printf will print on the screen. F printf means print in the file. Basically, insert into the file. I am using the same pointer FP that I used here. And see, within the quotes, I am, <coughs> sorry, I am putting this text. Okay, mad world. Or I can write any text that I want. So, for example, let us write, he should read daily for five minutes. Okay, so this text would basically be saved in the file. Remember, the file originally had India as my country. The moment you open it in the W mode, it will get erased, and finally, the file contents will be only this much. Let us execute the code. Right, see, we should read daily for five minutes. Now let us change back this text. Let us change something to triangle ABC. Okay. Now let us execute. So this text will go and triangle ABC will be the output. See, there is no output here, but here we will have triangle ABC. So remember one thing, whenever you do in the right mode, everything will get erased and then it will be written fresh. Okay. Now there is a mode called W plus. Okay. Let's see. Just like read plus. So in read plus, you had the ability to read as well as write. So in write plus, you can only write to the, in write mode, you can only write to the files. But in write plus mode, you can write as well as read. <coughs> Okay, so now just see. So we will first see how does the write plus mode execute. Okay, and then we will look at how does w and w plus differ. Same program, file pointer. Then I'm opening a file called input.txt in the write plus mode. Okay, so my original content was triangle ABC that will get erased. Standard program, if fp equal equal to none, that if we are not able to open the file, we just exit the code. Now see, I'm writing this content, mad world to the file. So I'm writing the comments also, input.txt now contains mad world. Now there is a new keyword called rewind. So when you do the rewind, see what happens if you remember tape recorders and walkmans of the previous generations, right? Maybe 10, 15 years ago, there was a rewind button on it. And even when we watch movies, there is a rewind button. So rewind button, I have written the comment, current file position is brought back to the beginning. So file pointer may be at the 10th line, 12th line, 1000th line, 1 millionth line. When you write the keyword remind, it goes back on the first position. That is the zeroth position of the file, which is at the beginning of the file. So what happened? We opened the input.txt in the write plus mode. So the entire file is blank. If not there, it will be created. Then we wrote mad world to the file. So my cursor and FP would have been at this position where I am right now. Then we did a remind, rewind. 
So rewind will bring my cursor back before the letter M at the start. Now see what I am doing while one. So always true. I am reading a file pointer. I am reading a character. See get C. So get character. And if character is equal equal to end of file. So basically I am reading till the end of file. Right. If end of file is reached I do a break. Else I just print a character. So I read a FP. Since I did a rewind here. So first I will read M. Right. Then again the loop executes. Then I will read A. Then I will read D and so on. Right. So this is the change that I can get because of the write plus mode. I will just show an example why W will not work. See here you are reading the file. You rewinded, you rewinded the file pointer to the beginning of the file. And then till you reach the end of file, you are reading the file character by character. Okay. So the output of this code will be because input.txt at India is my country. The moment you open in W or W plus mode, it gets blank. Then you write this, my mad world. Right at now, where is my cursor? After exclamation. Same is my file pointer. When I do a rewind, my cursor comes back to your position. Same as the file pointer. Then I read character by character and display it on the screen. Okay, let us just execute. So the execution will be the file will contain mad world and the program is able to read mad world, right? Because here we are able to read from the file. Okay, let us check the input file which has mad world. Now let us do one thing. I am just changing the mode here. If I make this as W, so W can only write, W cannot read. Right, since W can only write to the file, let us come back here. Same example, right? So this will be successfully written to the file. Rewind will also happen. But since you are operating in the write mode, there will be nothing on the screen. It is not able to read it. So this won't come. It will be blank. Just check this. See, it is blank. Right, because in the write mode, you are not allowed to read from the file. So I hope you get the difference between the write mode and the write plus mode. So whenever there is a plus mode, so in case of R plus, it is read plus. Plus what will be the other thing? Write. When it is write plus, what will be the other thing? Because you are already writing, the other thing is reading. Just like heads and tails. Now about writing an array to the file. It's again very easy. You can write any amount of text, nothing changes. So let us see this. We have a character name which is 50, right? And we are taking integer marks and i and num. So we are asking the number of students. Let's say I enter five students. I am having a file pointer and I'm opening a file student.txt in write mode, right? It can be a write plus mode also, no issues. Standard uh, standard loop. If FPTR, in this case it is FP and FPTR. So if FPTR is null, we print an error. Now let's say for example, you want to write an array into the file, right? So for looping through the array, we always require a for loop for i equal to 0 less than i, i less than 5 plus plus i. So basically you read the name of the student. I am using percent s here for string. You can also use gets name. That's also fine. Similarly, I'm getting the marks of the student. Now just see, as I said, printf is used for printing on the screen. fprintf is for writing on the file. Which file it will write? fptr. What did fptr contain? student.txt. You can see here there is no file called student.txt here. But since I'm opening in the w mode, it will write a file student.txt. Right, so what I'm writing? Name and marks. Finally, I'm closing the file. Okay, so just observe here. There will be a file called student.txt. Number of students. Let's say I'm writing four. Student name is one. So let's say Arjun and marks. Let's say seven on ten. Marks two is let's say Ram. Marks is four. Let us take Sita. Let us give her eight marks. And finally, let's take Lima as a name and maybe four. Okay, 
So you see the moment student dot text has been entered, you can see name and marks have entered into the file. Now you may ask why are these blank spaces coming in between? Because while writing to the file, we are also writing slash n into the file. The moment you insert a slash n into the file, it will definitely insert the blank space or blank line also into the file. So I hope the read and the write tutorial are very simple and very easy. Right now, remember we are working on the text file. We will similarly have another lessons on binary format. But everything remains the same except for the encoding part. Next would be on the append tutorial. Right? So this advantage of the write mode is like you cannot edit a file. Let's say you have written a hundred line essay and suddenly you remember that okay I need to add just two more lines. So write option will actually blank all the hundred lines before you write anything new. Right? So that is always not desirable. Let's say you are writing a word document. So you prefer that you save word file and then you keep on adding it to it, right? So append mode exactly does the same thing and it provides an update mode to us that we will see in the next tutorial. Thank you.